projects going on, namely I'm going to be doing some stuff for Geek Day, which is Friday the 25th. I want to get a lot of stuff done, like last year I managed to do I think about three or four videos in a week, and actually I did more than that this week. So, um, plan to try and get a couple of things done from scratch this next week, and hopefully uh, some of that will fly through. But in order to help speed things along, I need to simplify what is going to be the review for this week. So I figured, you know what? This review is not all just about movies and TV shows. I also started off this show by doing foods and drinks. And it just so happens that during Mother's Day, I was shopping with the rest of my family, um, and we went to a, uh, what is called in this area of Big Lots. They tend to have all kinds of interesting different stuff there. Some of it's like, Stuff that didn't sell immediately, but still has a shelf life and so forth. And, uh, some of it's like leftover books, leftover toys and games that aren't that popular, that aren't selling fast enough anymore, and things of that like. But they're not dropped so low that they're like, say, dollar store level or something. While I was there, I saw an interesting little line of drinks and figured, why not, I'd maybe I'll do something with those. So, I give you Jolly Rancher Soda! I assume it's supposed to be a soda. Apparently it's supposed to be slightly carbonated at least. Uh, I have two of them, but I don't normally drink too much in one go. So the idea is, is that right now this is going to be the first bottle that I got, the Jolly Rancher Cherry, and then later on tonight I shall do the other Jolly Rancher, the blue one. I figured that uh, since blue can be really iffy depending on who's doing it, I might as well start with the basic one. Normally, people can't screw up red-flavored stuff, so uh, especially when it's cherry-flavored, so I would think this would go down smoothly. But I would also add that I scoured this bottle, and it took me, I want to say, a better part of about five minutes to finally find the extremely badly labeled, um... Cats, and we're not editing this video. Um found the extremely, um, faded expiration date on here, and that kind of worries me. Yes, hi. Kind of worries me that this expiration date is not readable at all. So we'll be giving this a go because I'm extremely thirsty and this video needs to go without a hitch. Despite cat interference. I hear you down there. We can all hear you. Oh boy. I think I need another swig of that, but I'm not thinking this is a good thing. I taste a hint of Jolly Rancher in there. Ugh. But mostly... 
No, I'm not a fan of the clear sodas, you know, Sprite, Seven Up, that sort of thing. This tastes like somebody took a Seven Up and melted a shitload of Jolly Ranchers into it. You can taste the Jolly Ranchers, but it's also the really bland Seven Up, and that and that tends to override the Jolly Ranchers quite a bit, to the most part. So yeah, I get the feeling this is gonna be very disappointing for me. It starts with a Jolly Rancher. <clears throat> Excuse me. It starts with a little taste of Jolly Rancher, and that quickly fades away into Seven Up. It's just like my tongue does not like Seven Up. No, why did it got fade back into that? So yeah, red has already disappointed me pretty badly. Let us pray that blue does better, shall we? See you in a few minutes. So yeah, a few hours have passed and I finally got that red soda down, much to my own chagrin. I'm not a fan of 7-Up, not in the least bit. So. Blue raspberry here worries me. Let's see how this goes. Doesn't smell like Jolly Rancher either. Oh boy. Huh. Alright, now, now I'm confused. I'm going, to, I'm going to take a few more sips, but uh, I think this is actually better than the red one, which is kind of amazing. Hmm, mm, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. I mean, I understand that even with Jolly Ranchers, the candy, you want the, each color to be a different flavor, but I kind of figured that since the other one had a Jolly Rancher taste that quickly then fell into 7-Up territory, that this little sucker would have been just the same. I mean, it's not perfect. In between the starting Jolly Rancher flavor and the really sweet after flavor, in there's kind of an in-between flavor, and I do get a hint of the 7-Up kind of flavor, but it's nowhere near as bitter or as nasty as the red one was. Actually, I wonder if the expiration date on here is clear. No, the expiration date's half faded away on this one, too. I think I can make up the bottom row a little bit better, though, but... Arg. I kind of wonder if maybe these things are sold, they're going flat, but... Well, if they are going flat... The blue one apparently seems to be a lot better. So... Yeah. Can't have a part of this yet, the, the weekend with uh, extra noises, but... Yeah. I'm not sure if this is worth the one dollar they paid for, but I will say at least the, the blue one is a lot better than the red one. I think there might have been a couple of other flavors, but I can't remember for sure. I just figured, oh, the blue and the red one, that's usually my safe ones. Now, well, green one's not always safe, so that's why I don't have that flavor, and... Usually orange can sway quite heavily, depending on who's doing it, but... Yeah, if you come across the Jolly Rancher soda and you can only find red ones, unless you really like 7-Up, don't go there. Uh, as for the blue one, I could actually probably safely recommend the blue one. At least two out of the three flavors are within my tolerance range. I go a lot better than that red one. That red one. Oh. 
It took me at least a good two to three hours to get through that red one. Oh. It took, it, I nursed that sucker, and even the last little bit of it was just like, ah, ah, trying to make me gag. Pretty rancid stuff, that red one, but, yeah. I re recommend Blue Jolly Rancher if you find the blue, the Jolly Rancher sodas. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the reviews this week. Um, quick I know, but, uh, that's kind of the general plan. Now, if you excuse me, lots of other projects to get done in the meantime. Catch you all next time.